Okay, so now I've got the surface. Um, now uh, I can put it into my part. So uh, click on that plot. And I'll select that part we just made, truck surface section. Um, and then, uh, so that's 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 the quantity it's plotting. But we need to also choose what it's actually plotting, and that's going to be the pressure coefficient field we just made. Press OK. So now, see, we've got the uh, pressure coefficient along both the top and the bottom surfaces, like so. Um, and if we just sort of roughly compare with this, so this represents the um, the uh, the front of the truck, the actual tractor. This plot. Let's see if we can make it a bit more presentable. Yeah. So you can see that. They sort of look quite similar, some quite good correspondence, but um, this is just you know roughly, and uh, along the back of the the trailer, um, that is the general shape. So we can roughly see that the shapes look quite similar, somewhat, um, but in the next um, video we're actually. Uh, I mean, after this, we're actually going to plot out both data sets side by side so we can do a better comparison. Okay, so to further um, compare the two, uh, we want to plot the experimental data into this plot. So to do that, we'll need to import it first. Um, right click tables, new table, file table, and um, I'll make this file available. Uh, in the description below, tractor trailer, so that I've just extracted all of the um, the data points from the experiment there, and to plot it into our plot, uh, we go up here, and um, we right-click data series, add data, and we'll just click on that guy, and there it is plotted, and as you can see, the uh, experiment matches. Pretty well with the um, with the uh, simulation, so I would consider this uh, validated now. So so that's good, yeah. So the last little bit of validation we can do is um, let's compare the drag coefficients that the model predicts and what the experimental results tell us the drag coefficient is. So to um, calculate the drag coefficient, we can just make a new report and um, choose force coefficient, like so. And I'll rename this as CD, or CD for drag coefficient. Um, now here in the options, um, yeah, it's in the X direction. Uh, now we need to put in these, um, so the reference density, we can find from the density of the fluid, if we scroll up to our physics and then gas model, then go into air, we can see the density here. Just copy that in. So that will go into that report, like so. The reference velocity, well, that's just our sort of inlet velocity, which was equal to this in meters per second, or Mach 0.15. The reference area is given as the uh, frontal area of the uh, geometry from the paper, which was uh, 0 0.154 meters per second. And then for parts, we want to select the entire um, surface of the truck. Okay, and now if we run that report, we get a value of 0 0.446. So if we compare that with the uh, experimental value, here you can see they computed a value of 0 0.426. So it's not perfect, but it's it's pretty good, and I'd say good enough to um, to uh, use the model uh, usefully. So thank you for enduring this whole set of tutorials. Um, so I've shown you how to do a complete setup with the validation. So we're running out of time. See you next time.